I thought I knew everything that I had to do to hire and I was wrong. Now I know what I need to do thanks to this course. I don't even know what I'm gonna do if this doesn't work. My camera battery's dead, my back is thrown out. Is this in the frame? I can't even tell, hey. I don't know if this is framed well. I don't know if you can hear me very well. The lighting sure isn't great. Molly and Gemma are here, I'm in an overnight. You can hear Gemma in the other room playing with a ball for the first time in her life. And my back is completely thrown out. I have had the hardest time walking around today. What could possibly be a better time to talk about a hiring course and learning how to hire? than when you desperately wish you had help. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, this is called a, a Venom Go by Hy Hyperus? Hy Hyperus? I think my dad got this for free. He gave it to me the last time my back was thrown out, but I just charged it. I'm kind of nervous about it and I think it's funny if I do this on here and like it goes wrong, I think that's funny. It's better than it just going wrong and like hurting me and um, no one's here to laugh at it, you know? So I did download an app. Okay, so it's on. We're testing this out first. It says no devices were found. That's awesome. Oh, we gotta update it. <laughs> but my back hurts now. But we're gonna, we're gonna connect this. We're gonna see how this works. It, this is like a patch that I stick to my back and then I stick this to that, it's like a magnet. And it's supposed to vibrate and give heat. I guess even though it's not like dog sitting related, this is helpful as a dog sitter when you have back pain, if this works. Cause let me tell you, walking when your back is thrown out really sucks. This, I really need this thing to figure itself out because I can't sit here much longer without something. Oh, I can just do it now, okay. I can change my heat level, my vibration type, and then a uh, routine duration. So I think what I do is, it's my lower back that is currently making me wanna die. So I take this sticky, uh, and I set this aside because this is how I will put this away. Put this right where I need it and it just sticks to you. I'm kind of scared. I'm sure it'll be fine because I've used things like these before and this is a more high-tech version of what I used before but so you just take it as a magnet and you just like all right do heat level one we'll do steady vibration okay are we ready that's actually so nice I don't think I want the, I want the vibration later. We're gonna turn the heat up. We're gonna turn the vibration off. It will just do this for 10 minutes, but it's already very nice. Wow, that's cool. And the vibration is just too loud while I have this on. All right, yeah, okay. I can handle this now. Just pull my pants back up. Let's start over. Hi, I'm Devin. If you're new here, I own Devin's Dog Sitting, which is a professional pet care company in New Hampshire. I currently am a solopreneur. I've been solo for the past two years. I've sort of dipped my toes a little bit into the world of independent contractors, but the more I found out about it and the more I experienced having them, the more that I really realized that that's not how I wanna grow my company. That's not how I feel confident in sending people to clients' houses to take care of their <laughs> fur babies without any control over your independent contractors. You can't train them, they're their own business. I didn't get any sort of say in the care that was being provided, obviously, because they're not my employees and that just, it doesn't work for me. I need to make sure that my team is caring for these pets the way I would. That way, when I can't be there, if things like today where my back is completely thrown out. I could feel confident sending out my team members and knowing that my clients are going to be just as happy with them as they would be with me. What I'm really here to talk about today is Doug the Dog Guy's hiring course. He was kind enough to allow me to enroll in it in exchange for my honest feedback, which I have already given him in an email, but I wanted to let everyone else know just how important this class was and how I really think it has set me up for, I don't wanna say complete success, cause I don't wanna like 
like knock on wood. But if I thought that I was at like a five with preparedness for bringing on employees and knowing what I need to do, I, I'm at a 10 now. It's very important to me to hire. I have been in the process of it for a long time now. It took me a while to get through this course, but that's one of the best parts about the course is you can go at your own pace. My life got a little wild uh, over the summer. I had to put my cat down. I got really inspired for about two weeks to be so on top of everything. And then I got some very crappy news about someone that I love a lot. So that kind of shook my boat too. I'm just allowing myself to kind of be in the ebb and flow of it all, which is fine. You can not always be your peak self. That's okay. So Doug is a fellow YouTuber fellow. He's an actual YouTuber. I do this whenever I can force myself to. He's great. He's a great resource. If you don't already follow Doug the dog guy, you really should. He's constantly, constantly posting new videos with like all sorts of great information. And he put together a course on how to hire as a pet care company. So I have a small business advisor who works with the, the small business development center of New Hampshire. I think they have one in every state. Don't quote me on that, but I have an advisor there and she's fantastic. But there are so many nuanced questions and uh, just intricate things that you need to decide and figure out and know about when you have a pet care company. I want to be clear that this is a review of the first edition of his course because he currently is filming a uh, second edition of the course and he's using the feedback that he got from me and from other people who took the course and he's refilming everything. He is adding things in, he's clearing things up, but even just the first edition, the one that I took, was incredible. But I'm looking forward to taking the new one as well. Not only reinforcing the information that I got the first time, but also seeing what he has added from the feedback that he received from all the other people who took the course and who are going through the same thing that I am right now and trying to hire and who have the same questions that I do. So what is covered in this course? This course breaks down your step-by-step to-do list from the moment you think about hiring someone all the way until you are ready to say goodbye to them. He goes through every step in your relationship with your employee. He even breaks down the math in an easily digestible way to help you figure out what a profitable salary is going to be for you to offer that is beneficial to your employee and profitable for you. He also talks about some of the incentives that he gives his employees. He talks about the memberships that he provides for them and some other ways that you can entice people to join your team and to keep them on board, motivated, and feeling appreciated because it's very important to feel appreciated by your employer as someone who has been the employee of a lot of not very good employers, which I'll break down in another video. I want to talk about all the ways that my crappy employers helped me be the best employer possible. But some of the things that he points out are just things that I never would think of. He even makes note of reaching out to your employee and saying, how do you want to be contacted by me? Do you want me to call you when I need to talk to you? Do you want me to text you? Is email better? Are you more of a face-to-face -face person? I never would have even thought about that, but as someone who doesn't like to talk on the phone, you'd think that I would have thought about that. <laughs> Doug also goes into detail on how to find the employees that you personally are looking for. It's just a lot of really nuanced, thoughtful advice that only comes from someone who has so much experience doing it themselves. That's what I really liked about this course because there are a lot of courses out there on how to hire and what to do to hire and to build a team. And from my experience as a pet care provider, if the advice is not coming from another pet care provider, then it's not very helpful because you can tell me different ways to entice people to work for my bar or work for my Panera, but those are different types of people, types of skill sets, types of schedules. Unless you have experience doing these things, the advice just isn't going to be nuanced enough to be helpful. So after you find the right people, Doug goes into detail on the interviews that he does, where he does them, what kind of questions he asks, the red flags that he looks for, things that you wouldn't think about unless you've already made those mistakes in the past. Things that I know are going to be so helpful to me and to you when you take the course, because you will. He also details 
my thing just vibrated on my back. It said, great job. You've successfully completed your first routine. I, hit, I worked so hard on that, thanks. There's also an entire module on how to train your staff. There are a lot of different ways to train a pet care staff. There's Fetch Find, there are different online courses, CPR courses, everything like that. And the way he details treating his staff and how important that is to him, it's just really great to see. I'm just glad to see a class coming from a human who obviously has a, a higher regard for the respect and relationship with his employees than like a need for power. And at the end of the course, he even has a whole module on how to let an employee go when it's time, the things to keep note of, and it gives you advice on things that you can do at the start to help you be prepared for the end. My shoulders are so far up, I'm hunched over, I am in quite a bit of pain, so I'm sorry if I'm not as relaxed and carefree as I normally am. If I am normally but if i only have three videos is there a normally so i just wanted to point out some of my favorite things about this course i mean i already went into the fact that he is a pet care professional and that hi molly i already went into the fact that he's a pet care professional so all of his advice is very detailed and nuanced and important and relevant i know i'm almost done i'm almost done but i also like the way that he set up this course he broke it down into modules that are broken up into even smaller videos. Some of them are divided by topic and some of them are just cut up because of length, I think because of the course, but I know that he said he's going to reformat it for the new one. So I think they're gonna be even more manageable, digestible videos that are broken up by topic, which when you're taking the course by yourself and at your own rate, it doesn't even need to be spoon fed to you like that. It really is just helpful to have it broken up, especially when you're a solopreneur who's looking to hire because you're probably pretty stinking busy. It's nice to have the classes cut up into smaller chunks. I'm also a sucker for a good location. I mean, I don't even know how this looks right now. This was kind of last minute and then dictated by the length of the extension cord to the wall plugged into my camera because my camera was dead because I'm not prepared for anything. He teaches his entire course set up in front of this beautifully set up bookcase. There are a lot of bad to the bone marketing materials on there and that is his pet care company as well as all sorts of different books which I have not asked him this yet but I would love a bookshelf tour. Not only in the background do we have like a beautiful bookshelf with beautiful things on it but in the foreground we get a cat every now and then which i don't know if we ever learned the cat's name but that was always fun too molly wanted to be on camera come here come here they can't see you they can't see you hi he has also listed all sorts of incredible resources and recommendations for different softwares or memberships to be a part of he mentioned gusto as a payroll software company. I don't really know how to classify that. But he listed them and gave us his discount code, which benefits him and benefits us. So very smart. The last thing that I really need to make note of that I enjoyed about this experience was the platform that he had the class on. I couldn't tell you what it's called in this moment, but I've reached the point in my online consumer life where if I'm not listening to a video, on like 1.25 or 1.5 speed then the information is coming at me too slow and i really liked that this had such an adjustable an adjustable playback speed because then i was able to consume it at the rate that i wanted to doug has become a really big inspiration for me when it comes to being a pet care provider and a uh, a business owner and a leader and one of my favorite things about him is his constant desire to improve and that is definitely on display when you take the class at the end of every module Gemma since when you play with balls they're getting stir crazy I know honey He has a survey at the end of each module that asks you questions on how the module went for you, what other questions you have, what the best piece of information in that module was, 
and he's using that survey to make it the best course that it can be for the price that you're paying for it. Once you purchase it and you have your account and you're in the class, you're gonna have access to every iteration from here on out. So you really just have access to a lifetime of information and a great resource in Doug because I'll tell you, every question I have for him, he answers me so quickly. And I think that is just so incredible um, because you can tell that he really wants to help and he really wants to give you the best advice possible. And I just think that there couldn't be a better resource for someone in my situation. And so I'm just really encouraging you. You really should check out his hiring course. You can go to dugthedogguy.co, jump on the hiring course page and sign up because honestly, there is no reason why you shouldn't. It's so worth it. I probably couldn't even quantify how helpful this course has been for me. and. I feel so prepared to, <laughs> Molly's just here jumping. I just feel so prepared and ready to bring on a team and to lead them in the best way that I know how. The course, Doug himself, the community that I found through the course has just been an endless source of inspiration and helped me feel so secure in my decision to hire. I took 17 pages of notes while taking the course that I already refer to all the time. I just really could not recommend this course enough. And if you have any specific questions about it, then Molly, come here, come here. And if you have any specific questions about the course or anything that I didn't mention that you're interested to see if he covers, please reach out to me, put it in the comments here, message me on Instagram at Devin's Dog Sitting or at Devin Padley, you can find me on my personal one too. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about it. You can also reach out to Doug obviously, but I will happily sing the praises of the course. You can find Doug the Dog Guy on Instagram and on YouTube too. Check out his YouTube page, I'll link it in the description here. And if you end up joining the course because you watched this video, let me know, shout me out in the private Facebook group. I would love to hear what your experience is like too. Good luck everybody on hiring and taking the course. I do currently have a 34 page long employee handbook that I need to narrow down a little bit and then it's time to write my job description and get it up on Indeed. But first I'm gonna go continue to heat my back and turn on the vibration and then ice it for a little bit and then probably cry and then go to bed. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope you all have a good night. I'm gonna um, go watch Law & Order SVU.